Well, welcome to Freedom of the Seas. We have a different kind of stateroom this time. It's an inside promenade. So come on in and let's take a look at this stateroom. As we come into the stateroom, the first thing we come to is the bath. So let's take a look. You'll see that there is a stand-up shower. It's in the corner, so it's got a rounded plastic door, much better than those uh, sticky shower curtains. There's a standard uh, dual-purpose hair wash and body wash in the shower. Next to the shower is a toilet. And then across on the other side, there is the sink with a bit of counter space and some storage for the essentials that uh, you'll be needing as you get ready for your day or evening on Freedom of the Seas. This is not an overly large bathroom, it's just the amount of space that you need to get everything done. Across from the bath is a double door closet. The doors open out, which is great because it gives you great access to everything that's here in a reach-in closet. It's a pretty large closet for the length of sailing that you'd have here on Freedom of the Seas. You have your in-room safe and about three open shelves that you can use to store things as well as your life jackets are going to be down toward the ground. And as we take a look in this closet, you're going to see there is plenty of hanging both long hanging and bars that can come down for short hanging if you need them, and another shelf up above. So let's take a look at the closet. Now as we come past the bath and the closet, we have a full length mirror that you can see sort of angled right here behind me. And then we are at the sleeping area of the stateroom. Across from the large king size bed is the television, all set up with our safety drill on it. And there are three large shelves above the television. And there are three, four drawers actually below for you unpacking and storing some of your items. Next to the bed on each side is a small nightstand each one has an open shelf and a drawer to pull out. There's a sconce lamp and then a directed reading light on either side of the bed as well. Um, but I don't see any plug-ins near the bed. So um, I think that we're gonna find all of the electric outlets over by the desk, which is up in the living space further into the stateroom, which we'll look at next. So on either side of the large lit mirror over the desk, there are two side panels, smaller mirrors, and each of those is actually a door that has a shallow uh, set of shelves behind it. So there's a little bit more storage there. There is a small drawer at the desk, and underneath the desk is your mini fridge. In addition, on the left-hand side, there's a wastebasket, and then there are two open shelves down below the counter space. And across from the desk, we have two love seats. One of them is next to the bed, sort of facing the TV and the, uh, the desk area, and the other love seat, it is kind of recessed into the bay window, and that bay window is the one that looks out over the promenade. As we said, this is a little bit different than what we've been used to in terms of uh, stateroom size and layout, and it's gonna be interesting to see how we do with regard to the uh, setup here and the features that are available. One that I do want to mention to you as a, a kind of a call out and a watch out is the plugs. There are uh, plugs in the stateroom only by the desk. And when I took a look, you can see that there are two US and one European plug. There are no USB outlets in this updated ship. So the stateroom has not been modernized in that way. There are a couple of areas where it's really disappointing that the USBs don't show up. There are really old data plugs, plugs that perhaps people used in before Wi-Fi when they needed to have an ethernet cord or a, so that's disappointing. One thing we did, which is a tip, is that we brought a converter for a European plug so that we can plug in one more 
uh, outlet and have our USBs run off of that. Otherwise, you'd be down to two US outlets in this stateroom. So that's something that uh, you might just want to be prepared for if you're packing and coming on Freedom of the Seas in one of these staterooms. So if you're finding something helpful in this video, I'd ask you to give it a thumbs up, like the video, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. It just takes a moment to push the subscribe button and turn on notifications. That allows you to know every time we post a new episode to this channel. We'll be posting additional information in other episodes, full ship tours, and more information about our experiences sailing on Freedom of the Seas. I hope you enjoyed this stateroom tour of the interior promenade stateroom on Freedom of the Seas. Before you go, look in the upper right hand corner and look at the two bedroom grand suite at the aft of the ship, Freedom of the Seas, and see how that compares. See you there.